Okay, it's hard to see, but that first little egg, the one on the far right, has started to pip. You can see it slit the little shell, and all of them are sweating. You can maybe see little water droplets. We've got two more over here. You can definitely see water droplets on that one really well. It's five eggs in total, so they start sweating and then they'll slit the egg. Um, this one just really looks like it wants to slit, but anyway, so probably in the morning I'll see a little head popping out of that one, and maybe I'll see some more slits in these eggs as well. And yeah, they're all sweating at the same time, so I think that they're really going to hatch like at the same time. I think that I'm going to have five little baby lizards all at the same time, so we'll see. Alright, update. It is mid-afternoon, a day later. You can see this little baby is hatched. That guy's peeking out. That guy's ripped through and in the other container. Um, this guy, it's hard to see, he's ripped through as well. This guy's sweating, so it looks like everyone's in a good place. This little guy that's hatched out, I don't know if I should put him in um, the cage or not. I'm trying to get a good angle. Um because he's not moving around too much. And I usually like to let him start to move around before I put him in the rearing cage. So I'll give you an update in a little bit. All right, guys, final update. All five babies had hatched this morning. There's one up there basking, and then the other four are hanging out over here, getting ready to go to bed. It's so funny how they instinctively do that. Around late afternoon, they start getting ready for bed. So anyway, um. These guys are just a few hours old, tiny little babies, um, tiny, tiny, tiny little babies, and they will be, once they get a little bit bigger, start eating well and get some weight on them, they will be ready for adoption. So five little baby captive bred New Guinea frilled dragons, happy and healthy. All right, everyone, final update for this video. Um, the babies are now three days old, I think. Um, and they're a little bit shy of me filming them right now. I've been looking at them for a while. But I just fed them their first meal, or at least their first verified meal that I've seen them eat for sure. Um, what I did, and I did this for the last clutch. It worked so well that I did it again. I ordered a pod of small hornworms um, from rainbowmealworms.com. Frilled dragons love hornworms. It's for sure their favorite food. Um, and uh, it's also very nutritious for them. And for the babies, it's a great way to entice them to eat. Once they start to eat, it kind of kickstarts them and they'll start eating like crazy. Um, and so I fed all of them some small little hornworms. Some of them ate them right off the hemostat. Some of them ate more than one. Um, so now that they've all eaten, I feel much better. And they're all doing very, very well. So I'll update you more. But again, if you would like to adopt a captive bred frilled dragon, shoot me an email that's in the description below. Check out my blog that's also in the description. Hit subscribe, and I will continue to update you guys on these adorable little babies.